Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Brie. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to do an Opalac gel nail polish tutorial slash review slash unboxing all the things. <laughs> if you've watched my recent vlogs, um, I recently got my nails done and it's been about three weeks now and they're still going strong except for minor chips on these two fingers. <laughs> but apart from that, I've been really happy with how the gel polish has stayed and how it looks and kind of decided, do you know what? I'm a creative person. I like making things look pretty. <laughs> Why not I buy a pack of gel polish kit and try it? So I bought this kit from Opalac. They are a company I've been following for a while actually, and this isn't sponsored or anything, but I've just seen a lot of reviews on this brand and I thought, you know what? Let's give it a go. Let's unbox it. So they have a bunch of different gel kits on their website. They have like a basic kit. So I ordered the nude gel starter kit. This is what I got. It doesn't say anything about it being a nude starter kit. So I'm curious to see if this is actually the right one. <laughs> this is what the box looks like when you open it. It's just got some pieces of paper. It's got a little nice message and my, and my order. Nude gel starter kit. So maybe it is the right one. <laughs> So it comes with a nail file, a top coat, a base coat, looks like a little buffer block, a little instruction manual, which is what we need. <laughs> this two in one shine and soak. Apparently this is uh, used to get the nail polish off, to soak it off, which is what I need to do with this. I need to take it off. Okay, it is the nude base. So the two gels that it comes with, it comes with this one, it's called the Rise and Grind. And this one is called the Nude Bay. And then we have the lamp. So when you're doing nails, you have to actually put your hands under a lamp and it bakes it on, I guess. This is what the LED lamp looks like. Pretty simple. And it has the instructions, which is great. I'm going to need that. Okay, I'm excited. Overall impressions are pretty good. Everything looks really great quality. The hardest thing is actually choosing which nude polish I want to use. So I need to remove these nails first. And the first step is to file the surface of each nail for 10 seconds. Okay, so that's what it looks like when it's all been filed down. And then the next step is to saturate the nail remover wraps in Opalac 2-in-1 Shine and Soak. So I don't actually have the nail remover wraps, which is a bit awkward. So I'm just going to use like cotton pads. I don't know, hopefully that works. I'm just doing one finger at a time at this point to see if it will work. I put in a timer for like three minutes, so see if that works too impatient for this type of thing. <laughs> like it's coming off, but it's slowly coming off. So I've peeled it off one nail, but that took forever. <laughs> but it's good to know that they can actually come off. Let's continue, shall we? Next one. So it is like an hour later. <laughs> it took me so long to get the, the gel nail polish off. I definitely want to get one of those electric files that you can purchase and just like literally just file it off yourself instead of having to like soak it and then pick. I was literally like picking at my nails. This is what they look like at the moment. They're looking pretty shabby and like textured. So hopefully I can use this stuff and hopefully it can hide that. Right, so before I start putting all the gel on and stuff like that, I'm going to actually file my nails down so that they are nice little shape because they've grown out a bit and they probably need some help okay i'm low-key excited because this is where the fun starts just going to get out my thing so i'm going to need the base coat i need a color um mm, i might try this one which is the nude bay and then the top coat hopefully this works out okay i'm a bit nervous Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the new bay gel color. What I'm excited about having and doing my own gel nails at home is that if they do get chipped or something, I have the color at home to just quickly fix it up. I don't have to go to a salon to fix it up. And I think by doing that, they'll last longer as well, which is really good. Okay, time to cure. 90 seconds in here. 
Okay, time for the second coat. Let's do this. Okay, so the instructions say to only do two coats, but I'm gonna be a rebel and do three coats of the color because when I got my nails done at the salon, they did three coats. So I don't know, like, am I meant to do three coats? Anyways, I'm gonna do three coats. Last one, take your... Oh wow. Well. finished it. You finished it? Yeah. Is this one left? I've got to do the top coat still, but wow. that's pretty much it. Cool, babe. Does it look like salon? Maybe if you like, just don't look too close. All oh, right. <laughs> like from right. afar, maybe you like, oh, it looks like a salon. True, babe. Good job. So I just have the top coat to go. And to be honest, I'm pretty happy with how they're looking. Like, look. So good. For my first time, I know it's not perfect, but for my first time, it looks really good. So now I've just got to apply the top coat. Okay, so I've done one hand. I'm literally obsessed with how it looks like. I hope that it can show up on the camera as like nice as it is. For my first time ever, that's actually really good. I'm like super impressed. Okay, last step is I need to remove sticky residue with the two-in-one shine and soak. Basically, I just soak a cotton pad. I just wipe a cotton pad over it because it's meant to be like sticky. Oh yeah, it is sticky. Now that is the final product. <laughs> um, yeah, obsessed. I have like the ugliest hands, but that's okay. So I'm gonna put on a little TV series or YouTube video <laughs> while I do my right hand and I'll check back in with you guys once it's done to see the final results. and I've finished my right hand now. I feel like my right hand doesn't look anywhere near as good as my left hand. There's like some bubbles in it. I don't know what that's from. Overall, really happy with how this turned out considering it is my first time and considering it is an at-home gel nail polish experience. I'm excited to try the other colors and if you look on the box, they have so many different colors on their website that you can purchase. So yeah, I definitely want to try some of the other ones. I'm really impressed by the brand Opalac. I think they're actually really good products, really um, quality products as well. I didn't feel like they were trashy at all. Yeah, very impressed, very impressed. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried this brand or if you do do gel nails yourself, what brands you use because I'd be interested in um, learning more about different brands as well. I know that compared to the other videos that I normally make, this is a pretty random video, but I just thought, you know what, let's do a little review. I have a few reviews on my channel actually, and I'll leave the link to the playlist in the description. But one of my most viewed videos ever is a review video of a jewelry brand. So I thought maybe people actually really like these review videos and yeah, maybe I'll just give them a little go. I'm literally obsessed with my nails and this color as well. Can I just say the nude bay color? If you're wanting a nice nude color, get this one really nice. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.